All right, thanks guys for coming down today. Um, the focus of today's game is going to be um, on creating an overlap and creating space. So we're going to split into two um, teams, and the aim today is going to be to score as many tries as we can in the attacking team. And it's going to be a three on two game of touch footy. So just the uh, um, rules in the game, it's two hand tag. Um, if you score a try, you're going to go back to your try line to start attack again. And you basically got three minutes to score as many tries as you can. Yep. Oh. Right. All right, come in quickly. Alright guys, um, so what is the best way to um, commit the place in order to create an overlap? I think um, drawing your man in, first um, knowing who's marking you, sucking them in and then offloading. Yeah. Good way. Yeah. Draw and pass. Draw and pass, yeah. Square up. Go straight. Draw and pass. Yeah. Okay. Alright guys, um, which player is best to take the ball to the line? Uh, I'd say... Uh, the players on the side, so they can uh, pull the defence across and uh, open up opportunities for the people out wide. Yeah. yeah. Play. One side and then shift it to the other. Yeah. I'd go into the defence one. Oh, that's good. So when we go to the second part of the um, three on two game, um, let's try and implement those skills there. We just said to me now. All right. All right. Let's get going. Great. Okay. Alright guys, thanks for coming down today. The focus of our session today is going to be on creating an overlap and creating space. So we're going to be playing a little game, three on two. Um, the aim of the game is going to be to score as many tries in attack in um, three minutes. All right. So we're going to do three versus two. So you three will start up in attack, and you two in defence. Duty. All right. All right. In attack, the rules are basically just no kicking and. If you score a try, you're making the area or you get touched, you've got to go back to your try line to restart again. Um, for defence, just two hand touch. Yeah. Alright guys, what's the best way to commit the plays in order to create an overlap? Start in the middle. <laughs> I found a good starting in the middle and then you could uh, go to the side and 
drag, drag a defender in. So you had two options. But not only that, you can also go on the side and get, just draw and pass. You'll find the overlap on the other side. They were pretty weak. You are probably dumb. All right, so there. what's a, um, in order to create space on the outside, what's, uh, who's the best player to take the ball to the line? And just a question for the defence, um, what was the best way to create the, uh, sorry, the fender space? So there was an overlap. Can you, oh, yeah, it's more communicating. Yeah, communicating is a big one. And also, I found line speed in one sense, but then also jockeying back and working backwards, so not really line speed. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Enough. Now, when we, when we go back into this drill now, let's start using the, these good suggestions you just given to me, alright? Oh, good idea. Thanks. Thanks. Alright guys, thanks for that. Um, you see you've got some great skill there. Uh, just another question just before we head off. Um, in attack, if you don't have the ball, where's the best place for you guys to stay? I found if you held your width and depth, you could run onto the ball, the ball's out in front of you, attacking opportunity. Yeah, you, yeah, you can't, yeah, with the ball, it must take space. Yeah. 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 It's depth, it's depth. Depth. And, and why is that? So we can take the space and get all in hand so we can run, run lines, overs and or unders. Alright, alright, thanks guys.